you're thinking about buying this Korean clay pot called tukbegi and you're wondering, what do I even cook with it? How do I even use it? You could make so many dishes using tukbegi. Do you hear that? That sound only comes from tukbegi, nothing else. And it just makes my soul so happy because I know that I'm about to enter the gates of food heaven when I eat my Korean food out of tukbegi. <sighs> what more can you ask for in life other than entering food heaven, right? Now, all the recipes that you just saw here, the recipe links will be in the description box below if you want to check them out. Tukbegi is Korean earthenware clay pot. This goes back all the way to our Goryeo dynasty. It is made using clay with natural minerals. It is kneaded and then it is shaped, then it is sun dried. Then it is glazed and baked at 1200 degrees Celsius or even higher, creating that super hard texture, almost sounds like metal. That's how strong this is. Because tukbegi is made using kneaded clay, as it dries and as it bakes, it creates these micro pores. And because of that, it's breathable. Oh, I almost forgot. Welcome to my vlog series where we review Korean ingredients, Korean food, kitchen gadgets, and more. Hi everyone, this is Modern Helen, Pepper. and welcome Helen. to Modern Pepper. What are the benefits of cooking with tukbegi? Because tukbegi is slow to heat up, it takes a little longer than your traditional stainless steel pot. It retains such high temperature for a longer period of time, even after you turn the heat off, that it keeps your food warm. And also, because of this heat induction, it cooks your food better and it retains its nutrition better than cooking in a stainless pot. I mean, you could literally cook your tenjang jjigae, which is soybean paste stew, in this and then in a stainless steel pot. And if you do a taste test, I guarantee you, you'll notice the difference. And my favorite, favorite reason for cooking with tukbegi is that I could use it at table side, where I could continue hearing the bubbling sound of my soup or broth or stew and it keeps my food warm as I'm eating it. It just makes the food taste, I think, so much better. So tukbegi, you could put it directly on fire. So you could put it on your gas stove top, electric stove top. So how do you clean it? You never want to use harsh chemicals. You never want to use any abrasive uh, scrubbing pads or anything metal against it. This is what I do. When I'm done cooking with it, I let it come to room temperature. Okay, that is so important. One of my teenage boys, when they were on their dish duty that day, I told them, but no, they didn't listen. He put this piping hot clay pot in the sink and put cold water on it and guess what happened it made a huge crack and i had to get really upset turn into a dragon mom and spew out some fire <laughs> i was almost ready to burn him <laughs> anyway so don't do that once it cools down you could put either hot water in it or cold water in it and let it sit and then you could just easily wipe it off with a soft scrubbing pad if there are any stubborn stains let it soak longer or use a wooden spoon to kind of scrape off any stubborn burnt stains, that's what I would do. And another important tip, you could store your food in here and keep it in the fridge. You can do that. But when you take it out, do not put this cold clay pot directly on your stove top. You have to bring it to room temperature before you put it on direct fire. Yes, I hear you. Is it dishwasher safe? Absolutely. But like I mentioned before, I don't put my tukbegi in the dishwasher because unless you're using really mild dishwashing detergent, because it has micro pores, I don't really want to introduce any chemicals into my clay pot. As long as you pre-soak it in like cold or warm or hot water, it really wipes off really easy. Do I need to season this when I bring it home? Honestly, I don't pre-season my tukbegi. I just kind of rinse it lightly with mild soap and just dry it and use it. So you could heat it up on medium heat and you could add your oil and coat the interior of the bowl and then afterwards just wipe it with a kitchen towel and that's supposed to help preserve the tukbegi a little bit longer. The other recommendation is you could heat this up with some starchy rice water. So when you rinse your rice grains, you'll get that cloudy starch water. You could pour it in here and bring it to boil and then dump it out and that's supposed to help preserve the longevity of your tukbegi. So I have the 
extra extra large and then I have the extra large <laughs> these also come in really really small sizes so you could get the bambino size to mucho grande size if you go to any big Korean supermarket you'll see a huge selection of different sizes some of them come with lids I highly recommend getting the wooden tray or the metal tray so you could put this hot piping pot on it when you take it off the stove but if you don't live near a Korean market you could certainly order these online and I'll have the product links below so check it out and if you want to browse through more Korean kitchen gadgets as well as Korean ingredients you could check out amazon.com slash shop slash modern pepper and also at modernpepper.com slash store tons of stuff for you to browse through and you could use those links as a reference when you go grocery shopping so should you buy tupegi i say absolutely yes if you cook korean food at home i mean i've had this for i don't know maybe five years this one maybe even longer this will last you a long time as long as you take care of it and it also makes a great gift for anyone that loves cooking korean food oh i forgot to mention i want to make it absolutely clear that this video is not sponsored and no one <laughs> no brand anyone out there is sponsoring me so i'm really just sharing my genuine opinion of what i think of tukbegi and how important it is to uh, making delicious korean food at home so as with anything in life quality does matter if you were going to buy one i would invest in one that's made in korea tukbegi is uniquely korean so buy from a country that's been making this for ever wait don't go anywhere i want you to check out youtube.com slash modern pepper and check out my library of Korean recipes so we can make Korean food together. I will see you there. So I want to thank you for watching today's Tukbegi tutorial. And if you enjoyed it, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. 다음 비디오에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos right here where we review <laughs> and if you oh my goodness where we view where we be <laughs> where we view <laughs> I can't say it review review <laughs>